Hi, I'm Adit Tagar. I'm currently pursuing an MBA from HEC Paris. I'm going to give you a short introduction about myself. I'm a mechanical engineer from Bits Pilani. After that, I have worked for an oil and gas company in India. Then I did my master's in supply chain and operations from NITI Mumbai. After NITI, I was working for Deloitte Consulting as a senior consultant in sourcing and procurement for four years. And then I decided to do an MBA from HEC Paris. So I have a couple of questions in front of me from different people. I'm going to take them up one by one and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. So the first question which we have is from Subhajit. His question is how to get into HEC Paris for an MBA with scholarship. So <clears throat> as far as HEC is concerned, there are different criteria as per the HEC excellence scholarship. The first criteria is a GMAT score, your work experience, your age. It is usually preferred that the age should be less than 30 in order to receive a scholarship. And then how much is your previous salary because they do believe that you know it should be given to candidates who really need it. And then apart from HEC Excellence Scholarship, which is by default you are enrolled into, you have an option of enrolling into multiple other scholarships as per your nationalities. And from what I remember is Indian candidates have an option of applying to around four to six different scholarships. Then the second question from Subhajit is, what about doing part-time MBA in a reputed institute? Mm, I believe that an MBA is an experience. I am not in a huge favor of doing it as a part-time thing because I believe that it requires a lot of sacrifice in terms of your time, energy and your commitment. So I believe that you should treat MBA as a holistic experience when it is about networking, your connections, the course curriculum and different opportunities associated with it. Third question, how to get scholarship for doing MBA in a premier institute? Again, I would some of the same criteria which I did for the first question that it it is a accumulated score based on your GMAT score, your acad academic qualific academic performance, work profile, nationality, and how much do you need it. So different scholarships have different criteria, but majority of them are around these things. So now the second set of question is from Ashwarya. Um, her question is, what is the overall fees including the stay? So in order to get the recent numbers, I would suggest you to log into the HEC website. But then the numbers for me, for my program, which was last year was, so the tuition fee is around 66,000 euros and um, other stay and everything else would sum up to around 30, 34, thousand euros so in all without scholarship it would be 100 thousand euros and this is on a very <clears throat> uh, what do you say optimistic side and then if at all you get some scholarship or if you try to get some part-time role you it can further reduce mm, the next set of question is from Shushmita Shushmita says that I hardly have one year <clears throat> and I'm confused to take up a job or a PG please advise so as per my understanding, I would say that she means to say that she has a year of experience and now should she take up a job or PG? So I would say that when you're considering global MBA programs, these programs have an average work experience of around three years. So if you only have one year of experience, I would not suggest you to apply. Rather, I would suggest you to pick up a job and build up your profile. And then once you touch that work experience years of two, two or three years, I would suggest you to apply it then. So the next question is from Akash Rai. Akash Rai is asking that number of students who get through into HEC Paris through GRE scores, college has not, my answer to this is college has not officially released the figures, but from what I remember from my informal interactions during the, what do you say, the initial program uh, period is around 10% of students get through uh, GRE scores, but mid like primarily people use GMAT scores to get into HEC Paris. His second question is, is 3.5 years of work experience enough? And out of the 3.5 years, he has an experience of 2.5 in consulting. I would say that yes, as per the metrics, your work experience uh, is above average and there shouldn't be any difficulties with respect to work experience. Next set of questions is a uh, question is from Tanya. Tanya says that I have just completed my undergrad studies and I am looking forward to pursue MIM from HEC Paris. What is the minimum score and ideal profile? 
um i would say that you know mim i am not much familiar with so maybe i can talk more about the mba program but then i can connect you with somebody who i know in the mim program to give you a better picture then uh, she also says that you know is the college rncp approved or grand ecole certified i would say yes it is directly under the french education ministry so it has all the relevant certifications available to itself uh the next set of question is from amanpreet kaur she says that how was your experience at hcc paris when to apply for mba so i would say that you know i have completed my two terms which are the core terms at hcc so far it has been brilliant as in my class has around 47 to 15 nationalities uh, of candidates and it is such a diverse class that you know at every point you get to learn a lot from your batchmates and my primary reason of joining hcc was small batch size so in my batch i have around 117 students and all of them have been brilliant so i would sum up my first two terms as pretty much amazing and now after the summers i have my specialization term where i'm going to specialize in strategy so i am very much looking forward to it and when to apply for mba so i would consider this as a specific to hcc that when can you apply for hcc so as you're aware that you know there are two separate intakes for hcc one is in september and the other is in january uh, september batch size is a bit larger it is around 150 students whereas january one is around 110 120 and you can apply all throughout the year every month there is a application deadline and the jury sits for the final decisions every month so i would say that you know whenever you feel like you feel that your profile is great your gmat score is perfect and you believe that you know all the other checkpoints are covered i would suggest you to apply next question is from sanjana she is asking that are the job prospects good for immigrants after completing the masters or mba so again i would treat this question more related to the eu region where hcc is so i would say that yes job prospects are pretty good when you are a graduate from such prestigious college like hcc paris ncr and other recognized eu colleges the only thing which you have to take care is the local language say for example france is predominantly the work culture is in french so in case you're not that fluent with french you might not get all the opportunities in france but then there might be little uh, there will be a few english speaking uh, companies where and you might get a job but then you'll have to figure out which particular zone to target as per the language you are comfortable with and um, krushan thakur says ca or cfa which will you prefer i would like krushan if you can get back to us with a more detailed question it will be more helpful and we'll answer it in a better way moving on to the next one tanmay he says what is the scope of mba in india and what are the best colleges in india or abroad with the help of scholarship but how difficult is it again it's a pretty generic question and you know you know that scope of mba is never going to die down all these companies which are expanding be it a startup be it the established firm everybody is in the need of mba because people want to grow their businesses so the need of mba is never going to go down the only thing is how well of an mba you are when i say that you need to create a value within yourself when you do an mba program so you need to identify where do you want to fit within a business so i would say that you know uh, again selecting colleges it's again a pretty detailed thing which we can take up again like maybe we can get into a conversation again wherein we can answer your questions in a more detailed fashion and in a pinpoint way and uh, so then maybe we can connect sometime again and the last set of question is from dhiren so he has three questions uh so first question is should we start working on our applications right now or later again the question has one answer that moment you think that your profile is fine when i say profile as in your gmat score your work experience your resume you think that you know you've covered major checkpoints then you should apply and in order to apply you need to go through what is the application process of that particular school you need to be comfortable around the questions which they ask and once you think that you know you have enough of meat within your resume and other profile you should be ready to apply can i finish my documentation and cv in a month or two again now since you want to approach it in a month or two i would say that you know you will need constant guidance from people who are expert in this field people who have gone through the same cycle because they know what are the checks and balances required in order to complete an application at such a speed 
so maybe you need to get in touch with people who can help you through this particular application process in a short span of time so the last question is will you be a part of my process if i'm looking at colleges in us and europe definitely you know as you must have gone through admittance website that how well they handle all the particular application processes be it us europe or any part of the world they have experts and i'm sure that you know you will be mapped to a person who is amply qualified to help you with all your needs thank you